back to another mini pod sesh. Mm. Starring me, a titular board game snob, and Charday. For one, I'm not sure I'm considered a snob. You're honorary snob. Honor honorary? Or honorary. Okay. Wait, what does that mean? <laughs> It's like you you're you're not you're not really, but they dub you that as like just a just to say you are type thing. Oh, okay, I'm okay with that. I respect. I I'm in with that. Like you're an honorary member. Does it? It's like you haven't gone through the paces to be official. How do you spell that? H O N. Oh, that's an A R. I thought you were saying A R Y. I thought you were saying no. R- wait, honor H O N O R A. What? Hey, your Idabel countryness was coming through because I thought you were saying honorary. <laughs> You're saying honorary. honorary. I know what that means. Oh, you do? Well, for some reason, your 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 accent, I, I didn't understand what you were saying. Honorary. That's what I Honor- said. It's just, well, maybe other people will understand you, but I didn't understand you. So I'm like, what the heck is that? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honorary. I got you, man. Honorary. Honorary means conferred as an honor without oh the usual God. requirements or functions. Gotcha, Gobs. I so, knew what it meant. After so I to, be a, it. to be a true snob, you have to have elite taste in board gaming, elite which you taste. don't. No. You're a, you're a beginner, so to speak. I think I'm more but like I'm, I'm 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 taking you through the paces, and that's what we're going to discuss here shortly. Yeah, I think I'm more beginner, but intermediate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just it's more about taste, though. Okay, but, but sometimes it's like I feel like you you. What, revert me? to more people when you play board games you go more to the people who actually like to play them instead of me like you don't really ask me so i have to volunteer oh, dear you. i have to volunteer Are you putting me on blast right I now i mean i didn't mean whatever. to whatever we have invited you to several games and you're like no not interested Mate, hey, was that like six years ago i don't know i think it was because now it's 2021 that was 2014 so the next game that we play in here me enrique and jerry you want me to say hey Hey, Chardé, hey come on in hey listen i never said enrique and jerry i said with you <laughs> oh the shots fired at jerry <laughs> not enrique. that i don't want to play with jerry enrique i just feel that's like because I just, i'm more patient and understanding false that's not what i'm saying oh i am not saying you're not that way but sometimes you can be impatient because yeah what it's not that i think i would rather play with you with some of the games you've already played. So if I ever played a game with you guys, you don't have to explain it to me. Like I can already know. So the what game. you're saying is the pressure of Jerry. No, I never said that. No, 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 no. I don't care. Cause he will. I'll fight Jerry. I don't care. I'm not saying, I'd like to see that. I'm not saying he that. claims he has pugilistic skills. That means boxing. Oh, really? That's yes. really weird. What? <laughs> Wait, he claimed that? Yes. No way. Yeah, he claims lots of okay, things. Okay, so that, I need to His see that. His life is made up. Yeah. He's made up. So any... <laughs> no, he's real. <laughs> oh. He comes in here quite often. Oh, okay. I thought he was a part what of your like, what, if, what if I'm like beautiful minding and like Jerry doesn't exist? <laughs> you, you just <laughs> move like the pieces. Just, <laughs> you have like three pieces and you're like moving it you for him. You come in here, I'm like moving stuff around. You're like, what are you doing? Well, me and Jerry are playing a game. <laughs> Like, who's Jerry? Who's Jerry? <laughs> uh, Jerry Beard. John Nash. That was his name. Yeah, I read that. Well, I started reading the book, but I didn't finish the book because I found out it was a autobiogra- autobiography. Anyways, it was boring. I don't like those kind of books, even though it's supposed to be like good because it's them telling their story and stuff. But if he like made his story like like a fiction novel, <laughs> sure, I'll read it. Okay. I'm terrible. I actually started reading True Grit um, by Charles Portis, and I am I am almost done with that book. It is so good. It, I laugh out loud reading that book. Um, Jeff, not Jeff Bridges. <laughs> <laughs> the guy. Uh, his name Rooster is Rooster Cogburn. His name's Rooster Cogburn. Whatever. He's hilarious, even in the book. Like it, it's amazing how they portrayed the movie to be exactly like the character it, it's amazing and it's even a good, it's a good movie i've never read the book yeah the book is fantastic so far you just got through reading bubba's favorite book yes hyperion. i did hyperion strangest book i've Tell ever read about this super weird like weirdest book i have ever read seriously well bubba's I, a weird guy even bubba's like he said he admitted it, it was weird <laughs> and he said he had read it so long he kind of forgot the weird details but i don't know it, i honestly just you have to read the book you have to read it because if I explain it to you, it's, just, it's not going to make any sense to you. I'll read it with my ears. I've got on Audible. Yeah, j- just just listen to it, and um, it's it's the most sci-fi book I've ever sci-fi is that a word? Sure. 
<laughs> some it's yeah sci-fi book i've ever read most sci-fi most sci-fi book i've ever read did i do two positives i don't know what it's <laughs> called but you did most in sci-fi <laughs> i kind of want to add that i don't know and um not that it, it made me there were some really funny parts but then there were some really weird like dark parts alien stuff like well they're in the space. strike whatever he's supposed to be like, not strike one. still not sure what he is sean connery Kinda calling him sort of baseball game huh nope strike one I feel like I've heard it on some commercial or something, but no. You don't know who Sean Connery is? I do know who he is. Oh, you do? Yeah. Who Actually, is he? I'll take. I'll tell you. Did he just die? Not just, but like well, last you know, year. That's just dying. Okay. It is because like he didn't. I mean, it is that is it. Well, what is <laughs> what? Is, <laughs> when is somebody not just dead? Well, I mean, died? he just died. As in he he's been living for so long, he just died like last year. <laughs> But I didn't say last year because I just thought you know what I meant because it was literally it wasn't last year. It I, mean, was. I, thought it, I thought it was this year. I swear it was like twenty twenty one. And we like podcasted about it and we're like, oh rip. Rip. <laughs> rip no, torn. no, what I mean is when I say he just died or just something happened, it, it recently happened in, in the last October six October twenty twenty. Okay, well I was a little bit off, maybe three months off. Dang. Uh nine? No, I was nine months off. I was thinking of January. Um, I said last year, and you said, well, that's still just... Okay, okay, let me rephrase it. He died in October 2020. He could have died in 2010. See, that's a long time ago. 2020 was just like, just just now. He just did it. He just died. So that's kind of how I view things a few, a lot of times. You know what I mean? Uh, no, I don't know. You do the same. It's like, you know, the other day. I mean, Except it wasn't the other day. It was like the well, last three months ago. Whatever. Lots of people hypothetically could have died t- 10 years ago i don't understand your reasoning here but, but you would okay. say 10 years ago am i right i would not say he died in 2020 <laughs> let's, he let's, died just now let's move on okay fine <laughs> i feel like everybody's gonna like trash me like that's not a thing people say but it's okay anyways i read that book true grit and hyperion and after true grit pass me the game we're i'm going about. to start reading Dances with Wolves, which I read. I already talked about this in Disagreeable Nerds, so I just summarized. Why are you reading all these like movie Western? books turn movie westerns? Well, because I feel like they, if I like the movie that much, surely the book is amazing. So I know sometimes that's not always the case. Sometimes the books suck, just like you know that one book, Maze Runner. I heard they suck. The oh. movie's the best, so I don't know. Divergent, they both suck. Divergent. And no, you know, Divergent, the book was not that bad, actually. Uh, Insurgent was kind of bad. I didn't even read the last book because it was awful. <laughs> I well, even alert, bought it. Dies. Gabby, I even bought the book and you were like, it sucks. Don't read it. It sucks. And I sold it in a garage. So because you were like so dead set on it, like being like the worst book ever. Well, I'm glad you agreed. So with I'm that. just kind of I didn't know. I was, I was afraid. I didn't want to read this book. If it, Don't be I didn't, afraid. I didn't want to waste my time. I, I was afraid of wasting time. On a crappy book. Oh, oh, okay. You know what I mean? As opposed to TikTok, and that's not wasting time, I said. So let me talk about TikTok for a second. TikTok. I get all my news these TikTok, days. TikTok, Gabby is constantly on TikTok. Like, if he's not playing I'm a board addicted. game, he's on TikTok. If he's not peeing, he's on TikTok. Actually, no, he's peeing in on TikTok. Yes. TikTok is his life. And I will say, I started on TikTok before Gabby. He didn't even know about TikTok. He didn't care about TikTok. He, oh, you Just you're... whatever. Hold on. Let me guy. let me finish. Yes, I'm totally. I, to- I am you were. straight being that person. Yes, right now. So I was addicted to TikTok. <laughs> and I was just like, yeah, look at all these cool TikToks. And just kept going and going. And then like realized it's three hours later. And then it just became a thing. And then I realized I'm I'm just I gotta I gotta cut back. You were addicted. I gotta cut back. And you know what? I have cut back. And now my addiction has it's a plague and it went to you. It's transferred to it me. transferred to you. And so now you're me from two years ago. And I thought TikTok was like this lame thing because I always see, you know, when like you're watching a video and there's always an ad of yeah. TikTok. Uh-huh. That's when I first saw TikTok. But now TikTok is blown up, like really blown up. And you know, it's kind of cool. You see like a lot of how-tos, DIYs, and things you never actually 
thought you learned crap on oh, TikTok. Yeah. That's what's cool. I tell you, where's where I get on my news? <laughs> I learned that when that Chinese uh, satellite or whatever that debris was fixing to fall down from space, and they didn't know where it was going to land. This yeah. dude on TikTok said that like three weeks before that I heard it from the news news. Wow. It was crazy. That's insane. I was like, I haven't heard that. And I was like researching it. And then like two weeks later, maybe three weeks, it was a while. Suddenly on the news, oh, NASA's <laughs> concerned about this. Yeah. Is that one of those things where you say it's two weeks, but it's actually just like yesterday? I know, it could have been. You, do you see my point in the 2020 hey. thing? Okay. Just thought I'd throw it out. All right. Me and Charday played. Oh, this is mini par sesh number seven. We haven't been together in six months. We haven't podcasted in that, six that's, months. That's you know that's what I meant. Since uh, December twenty twenty, it's been a while. We've we been on a hiatus, hiatus, we, hyenas, a hyenas. That's what a giraffe has. <laughs> Get it? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Paper tails. Um. <clears throat> You're so stupid. What? It says, there once was a time full of relentless heroic wars and fantastic creatures. Paper Tales is the last remaining relic of those forgotten centuries. There's dragons. I don't know why I'm reading that. That's not really that good. Basically, it's a card game. <laughs> you're trying to build. Make up your own summary. You're trying to build a kingdom, and you're battling against everybody else's kingdoms, and you're recruiting people. And, and there's dragons. And there's dragons and ogres and all this other stuff. It's a fantastical setting. Uh, and you play cards down, you battle, mm -hmm. you earn income, you build, uh, buildings, you construct things into your kingdom. Mm -hmm. Those things provide you resources to build other buildings and money. And then you start another round and go at it again. So this game is very nice. in the fact that it has a player aid game. I listen. enjoyed that. I... I don't, it boggles my mind, games that don't have player aids. Especially games that have so many um, options or... Uh, options, rules. Not, not rules, but what, what is it called where you, when you play a game, you have one, two, three, four, or five, and you don't forget this, don't forget that, don't forget that, like uh, movements. Uh-huh. Is that what it's called? Game flow? Or gameplay, like... I don't know what you, you're saying. Exactly. There's, there's a word that you use when it comes to um, playing a board game, when it comes to moving, mo moving things around. Actions? Actions. There's When a game has so many actions, I personally feel like you need a game card, like yes. a little play card or whatever. Because like, what the crap? How do you remember all this crap? Unless you're like a speedo brain and you just know. And I you just not. know the game just like, just really good. Especially when people try to explain them to you. Like, Jerry Jerry will explain a game to me. I don't get games from explanations. I get some of it, but I need at least a one-round playthrough physically. That's how I am. And uh, But Jerry gets so upset that I didn't remember what he said. It's not that I'm paying attention. It's that I, my brain doesn't hold that information. Let's put, let's put Jerry on blast. Well, Jerry is always on blast. <laughs> but Jerry is like, he reads a rule book and he's done. Like he's good to go. Well, Jerry, I can't. I can read a rule book, and unless I have the game in front of me and I'm moving the pieces, and then I play through one round, then I understand it. Yeah. And then even at that, I've probably messed up a rule or so. Yeah, but you did mess up a rule at the end of our game playing this. Whatever. I forgot to count well, the victory points on the buildings. You but forget I that. still won. It's okay. <laughs> so <laughs> the player aids in games. Every freaking game should have some sort of player aid. I agree. And this totally. one is very, and of course, this is a card game, so it's a lot simpler to do, but they give you a player aid of the six phases of the round. You recruit, you draw up cards, you deploy, you deploy up to four cards, two in the front, two in the back. The two in the front, you, you got to keep mindful, those are going to go to battle, so you got to watch those battle points. You go to war, you battle the person to your left and to your right. In this mm -hmm. case, it's a two-player game, so it's just me and Charday. After you get done warring, then you get... Income, you you automatically get two dollars plus whatever your cards might give you special abilities. Then, with whatever your resources are in front of you on the table, you can construct a building with those. Some people give you wood, gems, meat. With those things, how you construct a building with meat, I don't know, but you can. <laughs> hey, Lady Gaga constructed a dress. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> 
Uh, and then you age your people. They age and they die. You put this little thing on them. It looks like a thing full of warts. I don't know I what I call that it is. craters. They look like a moon crater. Yeah, but how do they age with a moon crater? That's not thematic. It's got to be like a bunch of moles or warts or something. Well, it looks like a moon crater. Want, but you know what? Lo- you know, actually, the pieces itself don't look like a moon crater. But like on the board, it looks like a moon crater. On, and the pieces look just like... They're just called age tokens. Bubbles. But I want to know what they represent. What is there like just... they do? It does look like a moon. I agree. Well, but- think about it like this, cops. We're in that time period of, um, the, you know, the kings and dragons and uh-huh. the fantasy world. So maybe it's like the black... Plague, death, black death, sure, black bubonic plague or something. So, so the cards you play, they have a money cost. You're going to pay that money cost and play it down. Uh, and then the cards have special abilities on them sometimes. You got to keep all that in mind. You can move these things around. You have four rounds. Game's over. Very quick. Very smooth. Nice player aid that walks you through each of those phases. What do you think? Go ahead. I will have to say, I just want to comment on something. Um commend you actually oh, okay so um, i'm always up for commendation i figured you were i felt like you explained this guy this game good to me like you know in the past i feel like excellent would you say excellent i would say excellent <laughs> like sometimes when you explain a game to me i am unsure what's happening like i'm not sure what you're saying or maybe it's on my part and i actually paid attention this time who knows but even when I do try to pay attention, sometimes I'm just like really unsure what's going on. But when you were explaining this game, I had to ask a few questions, which, you know, that's part of it. I feel like you did good with the, with the explaining it and making sure Thank I, you. I, you know, put the pieces together or whatever. And after the first round, I got it. I understood the game. I, even with a few questions I had, um, it, it was easy to understand for me. What did you like about the game? Well... So I thought about it. I enjoyed the game. It, it, I like, you know what I wish it had though? What? I wish it had like cooler pieces. I don't know why. Something about cooler board <laughs> game basic. pieces would. Just cardboard pieces. Yeah, it was just, it, nothing's wrong with that. Um, Some gold coins. The gold coins could have been upgraded. Like, come um, on. Well, really, the, there are literally only the aging tokens and coins and cards. I was trying to think of an aspect of the game, like the, the strategic part of the the game that I liked um, when it came to, you know, the, the gameplay or whatever. I think my favorite part of the game, like the war wasn't that. Um, it's very anticlimactic. It I didn't think it was that extraordinary. No, because you like flip over your cards. <laughs> oh, I have five, you have four done. I'm like, this is the war. So <laughs> I felt like the war happened like, bam. Well, yes. I'm like, whoa, I thought we were going to do some more fighting. <laughs> I don't know. No, that's it. So that was it. I think there that could, some, I think that could have been more profound, but it wasn't. There's a, there are some cards that's like if you have this, then that gives you a plus one in battle, etc. Yeah, but I mean, it's still not exciting. The point of this game is to build your kingdom. I think the building part was probably what I liked. I'm not. Yeah, like you know, you, that's what you're doing the whole time. Really, it's not like a huge. I like this part, that part, that it, you're just building. I mean, there's nothing very specific in like the the gameplay that i could think of that i really just liked you know what i mean that you didn't like or just like just liked i just the whole game well, in itself was just building well constructing and this one this is uh, this is literally only my second play i played it once with jerry and enrique and i think we talked about it there is a lot of interconnectivity between the cards and you have to pay attention to that especially when you start constructing the buildings like, Chardet needed meat to accomplish, like, two or three different things on her cards, and she wasn't paying attention to the fact that she needed to be producing meat. So, that's another thing. All that crap. I I, I hate crap like that. I know it's, like, something you just got to remember, but I hate crap that I forget to do, and, like, I wish that was more, like, direct, not, like, you have to remember well, it was that. written right there on the card. Oh, <laughs> you gotta pay attention. Well, that pay, but, it's, but it's easy to forget. It's hard to remember to do this crap. Like but, I, I'm like crap. I had to do that. Let me say let me this pre- though. But that's good. That like this game actually has it written on the card. Like there's games that have actions that you can do that they don't. It's not written anywhere except in the rules. So it's like you just have to remember. Oh, I can do this now. Oh, is that kind of like when you have like a new device, like an iPhone, and you don't realize you can actually record with music? But it, you you find that out on TikTok. Sure. It's like that. Yes. It's like, 
<laughs> uh, on your phone, uh, you can if you go to press video, you can't play music while you're using video. But if you just use your picture and you hold your finger on the picture, you can film. And you slide it. And you can have music playing while you're just holding the thing with the picture. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of like TikTok. one of those things. It's like, why the crap didn't Apple just say that? Why the crap didn't they say that? So it's just like with board gaming. Why didn't they just say, why it's didn't they say game. that on the gameplay? Or why does it have to be in the rules? Well, it's, not, it's in the rules, but it's not anywhere else. It's not yeah. on the card. It's yeah. not on a player aid because they don't give you one. Oh. I, I'd yeah. like to know how many games give player aids, how many don't. I would say yeah. I a think lot. a lot of them. A lot Seriously. of them don't. And it's irritating. Especially a lot of the complicated games. It's like, that might be I a think, rather lengthy player aid, but that's what I need one. I think especially for those kind you need It makes those. me angry. Insane with anger. Insane with anger. <laughs> Insane. Swing away, Merle. Meryl. Not Merle. Merle Haggard. <laughs> You've been hanging around me too long. Swing away. <laughs> I'm saying words. Merging Swing away, Merle. Meryl, swing away. You're getting Contretto. You know what that's off of? <laughs> nope. Really? I said that. I thought you'd get it. No. Swing away, Meryl. What is it from? Go. It takes the bat. It's a oh, glass wait. Of water. Crap. Frickazoids. Is it Sandlot? No. <laughs> <laughs> Angels? Something no! with baseball? No. Oh, crap. It takes the bat. Swings. Hits a glass of water. It splashes all over the alien. Wow. Oh wait, you're talking. Are you talking about um thing? What? Nope. I know what it is. Signs. Yeah. Sorry. Will you? Well, oh my God. I'm sorry. You just quoted. I'm insane with anger, which is from Signs. I thought you would get it. Hey, you know, I actually did not know that was from <laughs> Signs. I've seen Signs a hundred times, and I had no idea that was from. They're signs. running around the house trying to scare off whatever's out there, and he goes, and "Mel's like, I'm insane with anger." I honestly and Joaquin Phoenix is like, no, you gotta like be cussing and stuff and be acting crazy. Oh, and now Mel that I outside, remember, I'm remembering he's around, that. I'm insane with anger. So <laughs> I've said, I'm, I've said I'm insane with anger so many times. I had no idea it was from Science. Like seriously, that's like insane. I've seen that's Science. Because you just emulate everything I say. And no, don't. false. No, that's not it. I've no, said it. no, no. So you no. got insane from anger with me. No, I don't yes, get. You it. Do. I do not get everything yes, you from you, Gobs. You no, I don't. You worship the ground. I, I, I think you like to be worshipped. On our latest episode, you think of you're this God. Of nerd, you said I'm like God. You know, when I said you're it's like God, there. it wasn't actually a genuine it's thing. It was more like no, a. It was, it was more like you were Just quoting all these things that's related to God. I'm like, you're like God, so that's what I meant. It wasn't meaning you're my God because that is. <laughs> Not that is not true. You worship me. I understand. I do not. I'm one to be a. You actually, to. you actually are in a different. You're you're inspect in you're Inspector? in an inception. You're an inception. You actually worshiping <laughs> <No>. me. <laughs> whatever. Whatever. You worship the ground my or of my feet. Actually. Ugh, whatever. Why you don't like hairy toes? <laughs> no, I don't. Like, who likes hairy Sorry, toes? I don't shave them. It's too much effort. Oh. You Ugh. shave yours? Hey, do you shave yours? Yes. Whatever. I like to have a sleek, streamlined you, foot. You're lying. You're for lying. when I I do for when I go swimming. I like to be able to kick and have a streamlined foot. I don't want that hair dragging what, me what down. What is your hair? What <laughs> do you have? Like Jesus hair? On I your am toes? hairless. More aerodynamic. Oh, whatever. <laughs> like a small baby. I'm like a large that's, baby. You're full of crap. <laughs> My bald head. All yeah. right. Well, let's get back to paper towels. Okay. What would you rate it zero to ten? Oh my gosh! Why not zero to five for a board game? Oh my God. Right, I think fine, you should do whatever. zero to five for this board game. For this board game, I would probably rate this one as four, which is an eight out of ten. That's all you gotta do. See, just multiply it. It's not that hard. I never said that. I just think it's just when when it comes to a smaller game like this, I feel like it should be like so a the smaller, smaller the game, the smaller the scale. Yeah. So if we play Uno, is it zero to three? Okay, Uno doesn't count. Uno is a party game. Let me give this one a 1.2. Uno, by the way, I, I actually don't like that game. Because it, it's awful. No, the reason why I don't like Uno is because it's so repetitive. I get so incredibly bored. And I'm just like, oh my it's not God. not a game. Why do people play this game? Like, I know, I like have played There's, good party games. Why is this game fun? Why do people like it's Uno? It's not. It's not fun. And one of my friends was like, let's play Uno. I'm like... I'm like dreading it. I'm like, oh my God, I do not want to play Uno. No. Are you, uh, half the time, you're simply stuck with, I mean, there's no options. It's like, he played a two. Oh, I got to play a two. It's the only thing in my hand. 
It's boring. It's so boring. I get so yes. bored playing Uno. Wild card. I think, honestly, I would rather play Monopoly. If it was between those two, I'd play Monopoly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Then you're stuck with like a three-hour game of boring. At least it knows it's over I <laughs> know. They're both boring. Like, no, no, no. They're both long. If you're playing yeah, I like, guess so. Who with knows? Like, you got to keep drawing. You two keep people? drawing. You keep drawing. Draw four. Draw four. Draw four. Yes. Yeah, so and you, you're endlessly like with a stack of cards. I'm just like, oh my God. You just got to end it. So you played here recently. We played Fantastic Factories, but you don't really remember that because it's been a while. It's literally been since last year. So notice October. Was it October? Yeah. Or December. Oh, yeah. December since we podcasted. So, Paper Tales, Wingspan, Fantastic Factories. Uh, what else have I? What else have I showed you recently? Uh, it's been so. Long. So, where would you would you rather play this? Or, of course, it's a short card game. Would you rather play this? But you can still compare them with this or Wingspan. I would say with Wings Wingspan and Paper Tales, it's it's totally. Not totally different. It's kind totally of the totally same different. kind of like. But if I was just to approach you in a vacuum and say, hey, you want to play Why would this? you approach me in the vacuum? <laughs> <laughs> we got sucked up in a big eureka. A mighty, oh, a mighty might. In the vortex of dust. <laughs> um, I meant, never mind. Okay, okay, I got you, I got you, I got you, fam. Wingspan is much longer. If I have time and I don't have nothing going on in my life, yes, I would choose Wingspan. Because okay. Wingspan, to me, okay, hold it on. has more um, depth, I guess. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I guess. I don't know. Okay. A Wingspan or Star Realms? Wingspan. Ooh. You know why I say that? Why? I've played Star Realms and I re- I've i played Star Realms more than I have ever played Wingspan, which is kind of funny. Mm-hmm. Um. I just something about Wingspan. I love I love everything. I love the pieces. I love the art. I love even just the uh, the gameplay of you know how to do it. Yeah, I enjoy it. It's fun, even though it's long. Wingspan or Royals? Royals. Correct answer. Royals is one of my favorite board games. It's fun. It's it's just I don't know. And Royals can be long, you know, depending I guess who you're with. Okay. They're trying to make decisions, but Royals is great. Love it, Royals. Royals is just love Royals. to me. Royals isn't. It's in that. Um, it comes between. It's okay. I'm gonna like throw it out a spectrum here. You know, oh, there's like the Ooh, easy, easy, yeah. dumb games, and mm-hmm. there's like really overly complicated board right, games. Right, right, right. And then there's this middle factor, and that's where Royals is to me. Okay, so in the middle, it's a it's a middleweight game. I, I don't know. I, I enjoy that. And like, it's not, not a party game. It's not a party game. No. But it's, it's, it's heavier it's than not, paper tails. It's not heavy, heavy, no. but it's you have to be strategic in that game. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's like the right amount of complicated for me. I really like Royals a lot. Yeah, it's, I enjoy it every team, every single time I play it. So I, uh, Royals and Wingspan are high up there. So Wingspan is like two players, right? You can play it by yourself. Well, it's one or two. It's one to four or five. I can't remember. Oh. They've got expansions, so I'm sure it plays up to five at least. That's a game I would only play with one pl- or two, like just me and you. I don't want to play that with like four people. So with Paper Tales being that it's a lighter, quicker game, do you remember Kingswood where you had the little dudes and you're going around the thing and fighting the little monsters on the bottom? Yes, I do remember that. Do you think you like Kingswood better or Paper Tales? Paper Tales. And just just note, I it has been a while since I've played... Kingswood. Kingswood, sorry. So if I played it again and just kind of like get a re-feel yeah, of it... Yeah, that's a thing with board games. I just kind of... It's like I can't... I've recently played played this one and I liked it so very much. Like. But Kingswood... Recency bias, they call that. Yes, Kingswood, I played maybe twice, probably. Yeah. And I remember enjoying it, but I, I can't really You're moving say... around that little circle, the rondelle. Yeah. And you get swords, hearts, and books. With those things, you can fight the, the little monsters across the bottom. And then you got that guard that's chasing you around. I still enjoy it. But I'm the same way, and me and Jerry were talking about this. We're trying to do our top 20, and it's like, I'm obviously leaning towards games we have played recently. And there's games I loved some time ago. Viticulture was my number one game. I, I kind of, that sounds familiar. Because I talk about it a lot. It's a wine making game. Oh, I remember It's that. been my number one for a long time. Why haven't I played this game? As of right now, I have zero interest in playing it because I haven't played it in forever. 
is because I don't remember the thrill that it gives me. The thrill. The thrill. What kind of thrill do you get? Is it like the same as ASMR thrills? No. It's more like oxytocin. Just makes you feel good. Oh, okay. Your good good feelings. I like that. I, I'm yeah, okay with that. Like, oxytocin. Oh, yeah. I know what I'm... Yeah, you put that down. It's no, making oxytocin. Sense. And it's just... Uh, I mean... Uh, uh, so I need to play Little Culture again. I'd like to play that with you. And, just because I've never played one of your games that you really liked, you know, like that. Okay, I'll show it to you. Next up, Viticulture, my favorite. Mm-hmm. Right, question. Well, are you, it are was you, my favorite. Hey, I'll say right now, it hey, will no longer be my favorite. Audible, Audible accent here, dude. What? Are you saying Vinny? Like V-E-N-T-I? Viticulture. Viticulture. Gotcha. It uh, has to do with winemaking. Hmm. Interesting. I'm into that. I like wine. You sure do. What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> you think they're purple most of the time. Are they? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that's going to do it for this mini pod sesh. Paper Tales, Chardet approved. I do. I really do. It's good. Definitely right. a game I would recommend if you just want to just do a quickie. Yeah. Let's not say that, though. Okay. <laughs> All right. Until next time on mini pod sesh number eight, I'm Gabby. I'm Chardet. Bye-bye. Later, dudes. <laughs>